السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن ولا This is a book which is quite well known in the Diobandi community known as Behesti Zawar and it is basically a book which is used by the Hanafi Diobandis um, obviously the laymen are probably not really familiar with this book because it's not really uh, taught to laymen like that uh, but it's 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 well known by the the imams the uh, the, the ulama of Dioband and I'm sure even the layman will recognize this name Maulana Ashraf Ali Thanwi okay um, so anyways this is Behesti Zawar and I'm gonna show you a few uh, sections of this book I'm gonna open up a few pages and show you what uh, is in this book uh, you might think it's a magic trick or something but um, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys and I'll let you guys judge for yourselves okay so if you just give me a moment I'm just gonna open up the page for you guys uh, one second here we are so, again this is a book guys and we're opening up to this section here A'mali Qur'ani okay this is again a section in this Behesti Zawar the English translation and this Amali uh, Qur'ani is by obviously Ashraf Ali Thanwi as well okay so here we have some magic tricks that we're gonna show you yeah? so I'll just read what it says sickness is treated with medicines in the same way so the, the I'll be honest with you guys the English here is a bit wrong and jumbled up but i'll read it anyway sickness is treated with medicines and in the same way they are treated by exercise i think what they mean is exorcism ruqya okay uh, they are known as amani qur'ani it is better to resort to these than to do anti-religion i think they mean anti-religious acts or consult soothsayers who take omens etc such evil practices spoil faith and are sinful I think what they mean is that it, it entails kufr and it's sinful some very effective Quranic amals are given below okay now let's see if this is from the Quran for head and toothache spreading clean dust on plank right with an iron nail, the Arab, Arabic letters, Abjad Hawaz Hati, ask the person suffering to press his affected part, and pressing the nail on, uh, nail first on Alif, you should recite Surah Alhamdulillah once, meaning Surah Al Fatiha. Then ask him about the pain, and if it is still there, then press Ba. So there's there's dust. There's a bar there and you're pressing with the nail, you're pressing on the letter bar and then recite Alhamdulillah Sharif, meaning Al-Fatiha, okay? In this way, go on pressing the next letter. By the grace of Allah, before the end of all the letters, the pain will vanish. Is this from the Quran and the Sunnah? Is this what true Salafiyah is according to this brother in the group chat? Is this the true Madhab and the true group and so on and so forth, okay? And then you have loads of other different solutions which are similar. And then you have here, look at this part now. For a son, they've even given you a medicine, a remedy, a uh, a solution for you to get a son. Normally, if you was go if you was to go to an imam and ask them, Ya Sheikh, how do I get a son? Normally, the Sheikh would advise you, you know, give you some nasiha and say, look, in the end, if you want a son, you make dua to Allah. You ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you a son. But what do we have here? For a son. 
A woman who always gives birth to a girl During the beginning of her next pregnancy Her husband or some woman should draw 70 circles With their finger on her belly And each time uh, and, each, and each time they should recite Ya Matino By the grace of Allah she would give birth to a son This is called A'mali Qur'ani What is this? Is this from the Quran and Sunnah? You claim that you know Salafis are misguided and everything And you know we're not the majority and so on and so forth And the Hanifis are the majority Is this what Imam Abu Hanifa was upon? Rahimahullah? Is this anywhere referenced in the Hanifi Madhab? Can you go? Can you trace this back to Abu Hanifa, rahimahullah? No, you can't trace this back to the Salaf. You can't trace this back to the Sahaba, and you certainly can't trace it back to the Rasul, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Why, my brothers and sisters, do we leave off the Sunnah to follow stuff like this? Come, my brothers, wake up. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.